Well, you know, I thought uh, we had some, uh, you know, we had a few opportunities in the second game that we let slip away, and, uh, and I think we just lost a lot of uh, a lot of confidence and steam at that point in time. And you know, we uh, had a had an injury that gave us an opportunity for some other people to step up and for us to do a little better job coaching and I don't think uh, we did a very good job and you know that was uh, in my mind kind of how the game slipped away you know our best rotation is with Mike is serving and hitting the jump serve and uh, that when that happened we didn't really have a good plan B thank you coach now let's open it up to questions for the student athletes Mapafano Daily Collegian. Um, Dominique or Ariel, what was it like in the huddle? What were you saying to each other when uh, Michael went down? Um, I guess we were just, um, we are worried for her obviously, but realized we had to focus on the game and what was next and um, just to stay focused and stay calm and get the ball, if she was gonna stay in, we needed to get the ball up higher for her and just things like that. Thank you, Dominique. More questions? Ariel, could you maybe talk about what Coach Rose was saying in that second set? Did you feel like kind of it was tough for you after you guys lost that? To, you know, was it a little bit of a focus problem coming out in the third set? Or what do you think was, how do you think it affected you? I mean, I wouldn't say it was a focus problem, but winning that a game like that, they definitely have the momentum. And I mean, we had chances to win, but we didn't do it, so yeah. I mean, we were we were down 2010, and then had four match point. I mean, four game points. But you know, it was also obvious in between games two and three that it wasn't like Nike, Micah was getting healthier. So, uh, you know, we needed to win that second game. We might have been able to camouflage our way through and do some other things. But I think uh, you know she wasn't able, to, wasn't really able to jump for the for the balance and couldn't jump serve, and it. Uh, <coughs> You know, caught up with us. We still had some opportunities for people to do things, but I mean, I think the credit should go to uh, Oregon. You know, we had a similar situation last week when we were playing uh, Minnesota. Then one of their outside hitters tweaked her ankle and came out, and uh, we were fortunate enough to score some points while she wasn't in. So that's part of the game. You know, I thought Carp was game, and a couple of other people, uh, you know, had opportunities, and you know, they weren't in a position to. Uh, Answer the bell, answer the bell at the level they wanted to, or we wanted to, and but I think you give credit to Oregon. You know, Oregon's, uh, you know, they do a lot of things really well, and it, you know, they were uh, they were the better team. Coach, in that uh, second set toward the end, there it seemed to be some concern on the bench, and I think you might have expressed something to the R two on the way out about the. Uh, whether the sets uh, were being called uh, properly. Do you, uh, what were you saying to the R2, and what do you think about the sets at the end? Well, we're not allowed to comment on the officiating, so I, I think that, uh, you know, there, there were opportunities for, uh, for the players to do better and the coaches to do better. I'm not in a position to judge the officials. Um, for both of you ladies, could you just talk about getting to this point and frustration of not being able to still be playing on Saturday? Um, well, it's always frustrating to finish your season on a loss, um, but the worst thing would be to not learn from it and get better and move on. Yeah, I mean, obviously this isn't how we want to end our season, but the other team was a good team, and I mean, we played hard, I'd say, so it's pretty disappointing, though. Ariel, any other questions? One back here. Uh, for Coach, uh, what does this say about your program when you don't win a national championship in two years and it's looked at as a disappointment when, when you know most of the country would be very happy with a finish like this? If you're going to like it when you're on top, you gotta got to be able to man up when uh, when you're not. You know, it is what it is. Either the players are going to step up and do what they have to do, and 
we're going to get better as a staff or uh, you know we'll look back on an era of Penn State volleyball and say boy that was a great era you know players have to have to be able to do a little bit more and uh, you know and, and I shared that thoughts with the players you know I think it's you know one team ends the season on a, on a great high I mean, that's what it is doesn't mean everybody else is uh, failures I think you know it's how do you uh, how do you assess, like you know, Dom said about what do you learn? How do you assess the whole season? You know, you know, base it on this match. You know, I mean, we didn't go into the match thinking what are we going to do if Micah gets hurt. We never think that Micah never missed a match all year, so all of a sudden she gets hurt, and it's an opportunity for other people to step up and do things. And I'm like asking them, how do you feel? Do you feel like you really did? You know, I thought we had opportunities to win the second game. Uh, you know, I'm disappointed that the errors that took place and the service error at critical times, uh, you know, that, that I'm disappointed in that. I'm, I'm not disappointed in, in losing. If you coach for as long as I've coached, you realize you win, you lose. That's Those are the two choices. Time for one more. Ariel, can you talk about the block you guys had and how important it was to keep you guys in this match? Which block? Uh, just all the blocks you had, oh, the a block. big blocking advantage. Uh, yeah, I mean, we definitely blocked all today, but we didn't match that in hitting, so it's pretty much evened out in the end. I mean, I think, I think the city of Louisville and the University of Louisville and the uh, organization that, that came together to put together this event has, has done a terrific job. Everybody has done a great job, and, uh, you know, it was, you know, we we're sorry we didn't play a little better, but... It, it certainly wasn't for uh, the effort by all the organizing committees that uh, did their work and the volleyball committee and everyone that worked so hard for three or four years to put an event together like this. It was, uh, you know, I hope it's a great final. Coach Aaron Dunlevy, Daily Collegiate, back here on your right. Um, just your thoughts on Deja's play tonight. It seems like her play kind of tapered off a little bit after that marathon second set. Yeah, I mean, it's such a hard thing for Deja you know, to be playing at home and she wants to do so well. And, uh, you know, I thought, you know, I thought she had some flashes where she was, where she was doing really well. And then the fourth game, she kind you know, she kind of just fizzled and burned and, uh, you know, got aced two or three times and had a couple hitting errors. And, you know, her, her, uh, her desire to want to do well is very high. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was an opponent that wasn't going to allow that to happen tonight. So, you know, it's never one player that costs costs a team. I, you know, there, it's usually a coach much more than it's a player, and uh, you know, so so the credit uh, should go to the other team. And uh, you know, I, I take a great deal of disappointment in how we prepared. Last question in the front row. Russ, uh, over here. Um, give me some thoughts about Bergman and uh, Brennan. Well, I mean, you know, I, I think they were what they what we thought they were going to be. You know, I'm not. Uh, you know, we played them last year, and you know, they, they had 16 and 17 kills and hit you know 170. So I mean, uh, I think we held them to a very low hitting percentage. But you know, she's got a terrific arm, great range, and it, and it didn't take very long for them to realize that the rotations that Micah was in the front row, she couldn't block. So. You know, we should have done a better job changing the defense a little bit and try and make some things. But, uh, you know, I, I thought, uh, you know, they're, they're terrific. And I think, you know, Plum is Plum's a terrific setter and a great leader and does a great deal for their team. Coach, ladies, thank you very much.